Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, your programming friend, you're from YouTube and in case you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Invite your friends so that we can make more such awesome videos and can serve you better. So let's move forward and in this video we're gonna move forward and try to explore Flutter more. Now so far we have created an app which is terrible, honestly it looks pretty pretty weird. I don't know from where this uh, yellow lines is coming up from but it looks horrible, so horrible. So we're gonna try and make sure that it looks at least decent and we're gonna walk through with the color signs and all of that a little bit. So let's just go ahead, we are gonna keep that here. Now obviously these to-dos are pretty much annoying so we're gonna get rid of them. Uh, there we go, they are, there is a reason why they are annoying because you need to finish the to-do work first, so there we go. Uh, we're gonna just have a little bit of the things aligned. Okay, there we go, looks pretty nice and clean, not much of the code now, okay. Now this looks pretty good. Now let's move forward and try to explore the Flutter. Yes, I was exploring it before as well. So here we go and what we need to do is we need to talk about widgets. So we will try to explore the widgets and the URL is flutter.io slash widget. So there we go. It has got a lot of widgets. Of course the basics ones are there. Uh, text widgets are there and text widgets are pretty easy. Text, rich text and default text style. What we are worried about is material component. We have already using, we are already using material design in our app. So we might want to explore that. So we are gonna take down this one first and then probably later on app bar and bottom navigation bar, we can take down them as well. So let's go ahead and move on and try to have a look on this scaffold. They call it a scaffold app bar. So let's, div, uh, let's dive into the documentation. So the scaffold class has got an app bar, which we will be using. So app bar is pretty easy stuff. It's self-explanatory. And this is how the app bar looks like. And it has got a variety of options. You can have icon button, uh, you can have title. So we're gonna have a few of them. Let's try to apply this one as well. So first and foremost, what we need to do is we need to have a scaffold class. Obviously it might be having a constructor, there we go. And then we can pass on some of these things. So. Reading the documentation at first can be intimidating, but don't worry, I'll walk you through. So the first job is just like we have implemented this uh, app, material app and home text, we are gonna implement the scaffold. And in the scaffold, we are going to implement the app bar. Once you understand the theme of any particular programming language or Flutter or iOS or anything, it just walks through with that theme. So once you get comfortable here, it's gonna be pretty easy. Don't worry, things, things are gonna be super, super easy. So what we're gonna do is let's try and go up there, okay. Now, first and foremost is uh, we are going to remove this home because we don't need you right now, there we go. And the first thing inside this material app we would like to have is a simple scaffold here. So um, how we can do that? It's actually really simple. You have to have a home and inside that I would like to have a scaffold and that's it. That's it, you have got your scaffold here. And one thing is, uh, if you're having just one element inside your material, uh, this component, uh, or in this case, they call them as widget, uh, you don't need to put a comma, it just can be in one line. If there are gonna be multiple one and you need these comments, then surely the comma should be there. But in the just one liner, I don't think it, it makes sense to make your code just unreadable. So there we go, we're gonna go just like that. Now in the scaffold, we have seen that we have constructors and we can apply a variety of things. And one of the thing that we saw is title actually. So, uh, but actually I don't need a scaffold title right now. I would like to go and use some of the things like in the scaffold, I would like to first go into the app bar. Once I'm in the app bar, then I would like to use this title. Makes sense, makes sense. So now it is here. Now we're gonna have an app bar and we're gonna have an app bar. There we go, you saw the theme that we just keep on digging into that and that sometimes is called as callback hell, but it's okay, it's not that much not, not that much bad. Okay, and then obviously we might want to have some of the titles here. Now, the title part is actually a little bit tricky part. Uh, we, we surely can talk about it in a minute, uh, but right now I don't want to go into the title part. Uh, we will look down into that later on. Uh, right now what I would like to go is, uh, let's just run this, let's just save this so that we can have it a little bit. So we're gonna do a shift R to perform a hot reload and I would like to see that, oops, the debugging is on so I would like to unlock my phone and there we go. So what this uh, scaffold gives you is this top bar, the bluish bar and this whitish background. So this is the scaffolding 
And obviously we can add some buttons and icons onto it, but right now I'm not much interested in the buttons and icon. I want to make it into my theme. So, and colors can be a little bit tricky in the Flutter. They are designed a little bit onto a trickier side. So let's see how we can design and put some of our colors as well. So I'm gonna just go up here and we are gonna define two colors uh, so that we can use them. One is going to be into the app bar, one is gonna be background. So a whole story short, one is gonna be in place of this blue, another one is gonna be in place of this white. And obviously we need to first define the colors. So the colors are defined into like this one. So we're gonna say, oops, not like that, final. The final keyword is being used. So we're gonna call this as bar color and that bar color. Now, whenever you define a color in the Flutter, the color expects you to have an integer value. That's a little bit odd. Usually we are habitual of having values in RGB or hex code, but here, here is a small trick that you can follow in case you want to use hex code colors. It's actually not that much hard. And what you can do is you can use a const and then use this constructor, which is color. And inside that you can pass on the value. Now, when you pass on the value there, is a syntax that you have to always follow. The syntax is use zero X that needs to be there all the time. And then you first define the opacity of this. And usually the opacity FF means fully opaque color. I want solid, uh, no opacity at all, no peeking through into the color. I want just zero, zero. And then you can pack based on your hex values, but without the hash code. So from where you can grab some of the colors. So go ahead, go onto the website and use this website, which is uicolorpicker.com. And it gives you red shades, blue shades, green, uh, grayish and some funny stuff. So we're gonna go for a little bit greenish stuff. All you have to do is click on that and it's copied. And then we can go ahead and paste that. Just remove the hash value and that's it. I know this is a little bit trickier part, but this is how you actually uh, get your color value. So we have got it, the bar color. Now we are gonna call this as BG color because it's a background color. The same thing is gonna be there and I would like to choose a grayish color for that. Probably I'll go for this one, a little bit lightish on the side. And all you have to do is apart from FF, just use this one and remove the hash. I know it's a little bit tricky, but you will eventually go through with that. Okay. So now that our, our colors are defined in the main, uh, in case you want to use it like in the entire app or something, you surely can define it in some separate file or maybe at the top. We will go through with that later on. Okay, now how we can use that. Now there are a couple of places where you can define the uh, colors here. So first and foremost, I want to use the scaffold color and later on I'll come up onto the app bar color. So in the scaffold, I want to call this as a background color and I want to call this as a BG color. There we go, that's it, it's being done. Now, once I'm inside the app bar, I would like to again colorize my app bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this as uh, simply background color, and this is going to be the bar color. Okay, so this looks pretty good to me. Save that, and we are gonna hit a hot reload now. Oops, my phone is again uh, logged, need to change that up and we are gonna hit a shift R so that we can see whether things are in place or not. So there we go, we can see straightforward that the green color is in impact. I hope you can see the grayish color as well and feel free to just use any other color as well. So now we have learned that we can use scaffolding pretty quickly and we now understand the color signs, how we can use the colors. Yes, there are other ways of having the colors but I think hex codes are one of the best ways of having the colors. So a simple assignment before we end up this video. Now what I want you to do is write an app from the scratch and it should use a color theme of red. Now you have to design an app in similar way that it should contrast. Uh, it should be in the heavy contrast, something like a YouTube-ish app. So pick up a favorite red color and choose any other color which just complements the red in here. Feel free to use anything but you have to use anything from uicolorpicker.com. Okay, so once you do that, make sure you post that uh, screenshot of your app uh, onto uh, the discussion section. I would really like to see that. So there we go. I think we should end up the video this year and uh, later on we're gonna explore more widgets. We will understand more about the Flutter and surely we're gonna learn tons of things. So that's it for this video and let's catch up in the next one.